Here's how to tell which type of avoidant your ex is. Hey, what's up? I'm Coach Benny, and I help people get their exes back. And there's a lot of coaches out there that simply throw everybody in sort of this category of like avoidance and anxious, right? It's like you're either one or the other. And you cannot compare the different types of anxious or avoidant attachment styles with each other. They're not even close. It's important to understand the spectrum of behavior, right? Anxious versus avoidant, like who's chasing the other one? Yes, we do need to know that, but it's very, very basic information that has almost nothing to do with your ex specifically. What we need to do is find out your ex's specific attachment style. There's four of them, okay? There's secure, anxious, preoccupied, fearful avoidant, and dismissive avoidant. So already you can tell there's two different types of avoidance, dismissive avoidant and fearful avoidant. These two avoidant types are so different from each other. There are very few cases where they could act similar, but 90 something X percent of the time, both of these types of avoidance are gonna act very, very different for very, very different reasons. Now, the first thing to understand about an insecure attachment style, right? There's a secure and then three insecure ones, is that each of them have a core wound that's driving insecure behavior in the relationship. Now, for the fearful avoidant, this core wound usually has something to do with a trust break. So that's abuse or trauma that's happened in their past, and it's causing them to be on high alert. They're always waiting for the other shoe to drop. These are the type of people that are going to complain about during the breakup how much you've hurt them. They're going to say how scared they are to let somebody in. These are people that um, you know may check your phone or, or um, they just can't drop an argument. There are types of fearful avoidance that don't do these kind of things, but it's more rare and predominantly you're going to see a fearful avoidant engage in conflict because they're trying to seek safety because they've been fucked over in the past um, through conflict resolution. Even if they don't do it that well because they get spicy and, and out of control and, and you know beat a dead horse in the argument. Now the dismissive avoidant is an entirely different animal. A dismissive one is typically somebody that was emotionally neglected in childhood, and you know they have a lot of problems as a result of that. One of them would be low self-worth. A dismissive avoidant thinks that they're not really that great of a person and that you'd be much better off without them. They also have fear of commitment. They're scared to lose their independence because that's their survival mechanism that helped them navigate through childhood with parents that just kind of left them on their own, per se. They're also really bad communicators. You know, fearful of wins can be uh, bad communicators too, but only because they get, you know, kind of out of hand. Whereas a dismissive one, it won't really get out of hand. Uh, most of the time, what's going to happen is they're going to run away. They keep their problems to themselves because they don't know how to communicate because they never had parents that actually cared enough to talk to them about things. Typically, a dismissive avoidant is going to break up with you because of stress, you know, overwhelm of stress um, or fear of commitment or maybe, you know, some they're wrestling with their low self-worth. So already you can tell that the different types of avoidance matter because it tells you what's going on inside of their head and their heart, right? And it's really, really important to know the difference. So if you're listening to coaches that are just kind of throwing everything in this anxious avoidant bucket, you know, you might want to back off that info a little bit because I don't think it's really going to help you that much. And if you want to jump on a call with me to look into your situation and get more clarity and get some advice on what to do next, click on my profile, click this link, uh, set up a call, and we'll talk soon.